we will now introduce the Jacobian. The Jacobian is one of the most important tools of differential equations, and its purpose is to classify the stability of fixed points. Suppose you have a system of differential equations. For simplicity, we'll look at two equations and two variables, but we could generalize this material. And these are autonomous, so the t variable isn't appearing over here on the right, but they don't need to be a linear. We could have sines or cosines or exponentials or whatever here. And say that the system of differential equations has a fit point. And we want to classify the stability of the fixed point. Well, we introduce the Jacobian. You might have seen this before. It gets presented in Calculus 3 traditionally. I'm not really sure what applications you see in that class, but the Jacobian is a matrix of partial derivatives. Its first row is going to be the partial derivatives of this function, the partial derivatives of f with respect to the first variable, the partial derivatives of f with respect to the second variable. And in the second row, we'll have the partial derivatives of the second function. And the Jacobian is a matrix of functions. I mean, I haven't used functions notation, but these partial derivatives are all functions of x and y. And now this Jacobian is going to help us classify the stability and type of this fixed point. Let's give this fixed point a name. Let's call it x0, comma, y0. We'll take x0 and y0, and we will plug it into the Jacobian. Sticking x0 and y0 into the Jacobian now gives us a constant matrix. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at a linear differential equation now. We're going to look at the linear differential equation xy prime equals this matrix times the vector xy. So this now is a linear homogeneous equation with constant coefficients. And this differential equation has a fixed point at 
to the origin. And we can classify the stability and type of this fixed point using the material of the previous unit by looking at the eigenvalues of this Jacobian. For example, maybe this Jacobian has one positive and one negative eigenvalue. Then this fixed point is a saddle and trajectories look like this. The major result of this set is the following. Under some relatively minor conditions, which we will look at in another video and another set of notes, the origin here and this fixed point up here are the same type of fixed point and they have, therefore, the same stability. So if the origin is a saddle, then this fixed point x0, y0, is also going to be a saddle. So that's the power of the Jacobian. It lets us classify fixed points using the material from the previous unit that we had for linear homogeneous differential equations. There are a few things you need to know. First, as I said already, sort of in passing, this usually works. It doesn't always work. This fixed point has to have a few conditions if we're going to use the Jacobian to satisfy to classify it. And we'll talk about those conditions later, their own notes, their own video. The other thing we should realize is that the information we're getting about this fixed point is strictly local. So over here, this gives us the full picture of the phase plane. We have these two eigenvectors, and they control everything. And no matter what your initial condition is, you know it's going to end up following one of these eigenvectors. Here, we don't have that. We know that near the fixed point, trajectories look like this. But once we leave the fixed point, anything could happen. So this trajectory here might keep following that eigenvector forever. Whereas this trajectory here might loop around and converge to an asymptotically stable fixed point, for example. So the stability of this fixed point is giving us global behavior, 
the stability and type of this fixed point is giving us local behavior only. And that's an important distinction to draw. 